In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of order of a matrix or the basic terminology related to matrix. We already know what is a matrix, what do you mean by rows, columns, order, elements and entries. In this video, we have a question dedicated to the basic concept of mathematics which is called as the matrix. Now, let's read what the question has to say and let's get started with the solution. The question is, construct a 3 by 4 matrix with different elements given. Say A11 is given to me as 5, A22 as 8, A12 as 8 and so on. That means I only have two things known to me. That I have to construct a matrix on my own and the matrix should be of the order 3 by 4. And 3 by 4 means I would be needing how many elements? 3 multiplied by 4 that means 12 elements and those 12 elements are given to me explicitly. I just have to arrange them because they are given in a random order and that would be my answer. So first of all, let's write the heading as solution. I write the heading as a solution and I start with the solution. Let the name of the matrix be A. Now the matrix A is such that it should be of the order 3 by 4. So let's draw the general standard form of a matrix. So the standard matrix would be 3 by 4 ordered wherein there would be how many rows? 3 rows. So it would be row 1, row 2, row 3 because we should have 3 rows and how many columns? 4 columns. So C1, C2, C3, C4. Right? Now first row first column is A11, first row second column is A12, first row third column A13 and A14. Similarly, row 2, column 1, 2, 1 that means A21, A22, A23 and last but not the least second row fourth column A24. This is how we go about it, right? Next, third row, third row, first column, A31. Third row, second column, third row, second column, A32, then A33, then A34. So this is the blueprint of the solution of the question. Now, we just have to fill the elements accordingly, right? So if A would be a matrix which would look somewhat like this, what is my final answer? The answer is matrix A. Again, 3 rows, 4 columns. So it is 3 by 4. The R1 is here. Say the R2 or the row 2 is here. R3 is here. First column, second column, third column, fourth column. Only thing left is what? Putting the elements. Now, A11. Where is A11? A11 is here 5. So write 5 and tick this, strike this off. What about A12? Find where is A12 out of the list. A12 is here. It is 8. A12 is here. Understood? What is A13? We need A13 here. Here A13 should be here. Where is A13? Find A13. A13 is where? It is here. A13 is 3. So A13 is 3. I write here 3. What about R1, C4? R1, C4 is A14. Where is A14? A14 is adjacent to A13. It is given to me as 5. I write here 5. So that's it. This is how we go about it. Next, row 2, I have A21, A22. Where is A21? I should be finding A21. My A21 is here. It is 0. What about A22? Because here I should be having A22. My A22 is here. It is 8. The next is the position of A23. Where is A23? A23 is basically here. It is 5. Last but not the least, I have A24. Where is A24? A24 is here, it is 6. Now, last row, quickly, I want you people to do it yourself. Right. And match it after pausing and resuming the video. 
Where is A31? A31 is here. It is given to me as 6. Where is A32? A32 here. A32 minus 1. Don't neglect or forget placing the negative sign if it exists. Right? A33 and then A34. A33 is 485. And don't miss out any element. What about A34? A34 last but not the least is minus 8. So, this was the question. As simple as that. So, in this video, we saw the basic question wherein we understood how to construct a matrix given different elements for the same.